well as Thomas Sowell and as Candace Owen and, uh, and Larry Elder and other knowledgeable Blacks explained, this is simply to manipulate ignorant and uneducated Black people um, to, to blame a, a, a mythical systemic racism and to blame a history of slavery from 150 years ago or Jim Crow from 50 years ago for the present problems. The present problems of the Black community, of course, have to do with a school system designed to fail, absentee fatherhood, and replacing a Black husband and father with, with food stamps to create a permanent underclass that can be manipulated and to perpetuate a victim mentality that will simply generate racism. Barack Obama, who was half Black, became president promising a racial re reconciliation and left the country deliberately more racially divided than it has ever been. We can be sure of the following. The more this victim mentality is perpetuated, the more certain it is that Blacks will remain the socioeconomically lowest strata on the socioeconomic demographic. That's what it's designed to do, is to make an underclass and prevent Black people from becoming upwardly mobile in order to manipulate them politically. But everything becomes race. Let's just look at it. You have Black overachievement in professional sports. We always have. We always have. You have Black predominance in basketball. You have Black predominance in, in obviously, boxing. You have Black predominance uh, in a number of sports. They've even taken white people's sports and performed brilliantly, beginning with Arthur Ashe in tennis and, of course, Tiger Wood in golf. Black people have an incredible aptitude and an incredible physical performance capacity for sports. They've done well. They achieved those things and the astronomical salaries that go with it, not through affirmative action, but through hard work, hard practice, maintaining a, an athletically healthy a lifestyle conducive to, to good health that an athlete needs to perform under those kinds of of, of, of pressures, and they've done brilliantly. Now, I've always maintained that what Black people have done in sports and in music, they can do in other things if they had a proper school system and proper motivation. But that is not what's happened. Black America has abandoned, mostly, the Baptist and Pentecostal heritage of their grandparents and great-grandparents. They've not gone the way of, of Frederick Douglass and of Booker T. Washington, or of Harriet Tubman, they've gone the way of W.E.B. Du Bois and the, the racocrats, the race parasites who make their living in the race industry. People like Jesse Jackson and people like Al Sharpton and, and, and left-wing journalists like Joy Reid and so forth. These are people who make their living in the race industry and it's their power base. Well, let's look what happened. Florida has said the taxpayers will no longer de fund DEI in state-funded universities. The taxpayers should not have to pay for this kind of nonsense as DEI, diversity, equity, and- uh, Inclusion. Inclusion, which by, by them, they it, it means not, not equality in opportunity, but equality in outcome. <laughs> <laughs> statistics. You got to have so many, so many, so many. Okay. Well, suppose somebody was to say, we want DEI in sports. There are too many black players in baseball, in football, and in basketball, particularly. With the exception of hockey, blacks have made inroads in disproportionate numbers in every sport. And that is discriminatory against white people. We want inclusion. For Nobody would ever say that. <laughs> Nobody would ever say that. Yet the NAACP, which was destroyed, in my opinion, by Benjamin Jealous, it is not the NAACP of, 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 of previous generations, of Medica Rivers and so forth. The NAACP has told Black athletes not to play for Florida schools, not to play for Florida teams. The one thing where, through simple achievement, Blacks have outperformed and, uh, and overperformed. They're saying, don't do that now because they're not giving us the results we want and having Blacks who are less talented in other fields. This is a complete disgrace. But it goes on. 
it's not even logical. There are people screaming now that X refusing to financially sponsor Don Lemon. Oh, that's because of racism. Well, no, it wasn't. Elon Musk had a reason to get rid of him before he came on. He can go <laughs> on X. Now, he's not banned from X, but he's not going to get paid for it. Then we have Lori Bush from the squad. This woman, Nancy Pelosi, allowed onto the House Judiciary Committee, despite the fact she's not a lawyer. And she said she's qualified to be on the House Judiciary Committee, although she did not go to law school because she was part of the Michael Brown protest in Ferguson, <laughs> Tennessee, where a thug robbed an Asian shopkeeper in the accompaniment of a ex-con who had pleaded guilty to lying to the police on a previous occasion, was cited by a policeman. He attacks the policeman, injures the policeman, and goes for the policeman's gun. The fingerprints are found on the holster and gets himself shot going for this cop's gun after he robs the store because this person who he was with, the ex-con who previously lied to the police and admitted so, said, hands up, don't shoot. The autopsies, the forensic reports, the ballistics reports all showed that that scientifically could not have been the case. The FBI investigation carried out by a black attorney general, Eric Holder, under his, under his direction. The FBI, as well as the local police investigations, had five or six witnesses, all of them black, who did not give that kind of account. Hands up, don't shoot. The whole thing was a lie. The result was riots, looting, burning, and this Lori Bush says, well, she was part of this protest. What were you protesting? Somebody who robs a store, assaults a little Asian shopkeeper, assaults a cop, injures the cop, goes for the cop's gun and gets himself shot, and now he's the victim? That's That was her platform to run for Congress. <laughs> but then we find out she's paid exorbitant salaries for personal security at the taxpayer's expense. Who did she pay these six figures to? Her husband. Oh, you're picking on me because I'm black. No, nobody's picking on you because you're black. How can you pay this kind of money to your husband? Exorbitant. Unbelievable. Yeah, taxpayer money. That, that taxpayer money. Then it goes on again. Absurdity of absurdities. Michigan State University. The basketball coach is Juan Horib. Horib. He has a nine game straight loss record. It was nine games straight. In the last three years, he's been 45 out of 55. He's just a bad coach. He's not a good coach. He just can't get his players to perform. He does, He's not a good strategist. He's a bad coach. He's being sacked, as he should be. He can't do the job. So therefore, a black journalist named Charles Hallman says, ask him, is this because of the white media? They racialize it. Don't look at his record, his, his loss, his record of losses and inability as a coach. Don't look at this ridiculous affirmative action president of Harvard with a documented record of 20 years of plagiarism. No, no, she's a victim of racism. It doesn't matter. The facts don't matter what they did, what they didn't do. None of that. It's always about race. This is sick and perverted. And it will assure that black people never make it to first base. It will assure that the black man will always be the low man on the totem pole. They've been betrayed by their own kind. Uncle Tom was not an Uncle Tom. He was flogged to death by Simone Legree for not telling where runaway slaves were hiding. He was a man with a strong Christian faith in the book and in the play. Uh, but there was somebody called Sanbo, Sanbo, who collaborated with the white plantation owners against other blacks, the overseers, the house black. And that is what these people are. These black poverty crats, these people like Lori Bush or 
Congresswoman Presley, or well, take your pick, but Joy Reid, or Booker, the Senator Booker. Take your pick. These are the sandbows. Barack Obama is a sandbow. Michelle Obama is a sandbow. They are the they are there to make black people stooges of white liberals. They are the overseers of blacks to keep them on the plantation, known as the housing estate. That's what they're there for. It's the same old game. It's the party of Jim Crow and slavery holding the black man down and finding black sandbows to do their bidding for them. Mm. That is what we've got. They racialize everything. This reflects their own racism, their own bigotry. The fact that nearly three out of four black children are born out of wedlock, that's not the fault of white people. It's not the fault. Absentee fatherhood is not the fault of white people. It's the fault of the moral breakdown in the black community and in the nation at large. Don't racialize it. But they have to racialize it because they can't face the facts or the truth. They're very much like the ANC of South Africa. They have to blame the past because they cannot take responsibility for their own failures of the future and the present.